Hello everyone and welcome to another random gameplay. As you can tell from the title, it's Pokemon Gold. Yeah, I, I figured since I did yellow, this one definitely deserves a random gameplay of its own because it's my favorite generation of Pokemon. I do crystal because, you know, it's got more features and stuff like that and in the upgraded type thing, it's my favorite of the... But, it, it just it comes later on in the game, and I don't want to accidentally save over my save file because I got everything 100%ed. So I thought, eh, I'll use a spare copy of gold here because the difference is not until later, so it's, it's gonna play out pretty much the same, other than this intro here, which is different in Crystal, <laughs> which puts more prominence on Suicune and the Unknown. So, there we go. <laughs> Pokemon Gold version. Yeah, as you can see, I gotta replace the battery, but that's okay! Perfect for a random gameplay. Hmm? Uh, uh, you woke me up. Uh, you check the clock for me? What time is it? Well, it's it's not actually uh, 5 o'clock, but I'm gonna set it for 5.50, just so I can show you the day-night cycle of the game. <laughs> I'm going to be playing this for more than 10 minutes. Oh, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. <laughs> it's abbreviated. The world is inhabited by creatures that we call Pokemon. Meryl's Cry. People and Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with the Pokemon, some battle with them. I'll be the battler in this game story. <laughs> and we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. There are still many mysteries to solve. That's why I study Pokemon every day. Now, when did you say your name was? It is PK Gam, but I'm gonna call myself Gold because that's the name of the game's main character. Your very own Pokemon story is about to unfold! You'll face fun times and tough challenges. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits! Let's go! I'll be seeing you later. And we turn micro size so we can move around with the D-pad in the game's world! Let's check our PC and get a potion! Actually, there's no potion. Ah, ah! but I bet you thought there was a potion. <laughs> Let's listen to the radio! Fresh old Pokemon talk. Please tune in next time! Ah, oh, we missed the dang broadcast. This is DJ Mary, your co host! Pokemon! Pokemon Channel! Oh, totally missed the broadcast. They are really encouraging us to leave, aren't we? I mean, aren't they? <laughs> it's a TV, of course it is, but nothing on TV that I can watch, huh? A whole collection of Pokemon picture books! Yay! And here's the town map. You can check everything around here in Johto. That's the land that we are hanging out in, baby! Okay, we're done here. <laughs> I'm <laughs> just showing you what you can check and whatnot. Woo! Oh, gold! Our neighbor, P P Prob M, was <laughs> looking for you. He said he wanted to go do something for him. Oh, I almost forgot. Your Pokemon gear is back in the repair shop. Here you go! And I got a Poke Gear! Woo! Pokemon gear, or just Poke gear, it's essential if you want to be a good trainer. Well, I, I wouldn't necessarily say that. I mean, think back at Red from the original Pokemon games and how he pretty much dominates all the lands, and there wasn't a Pokemon gear in that game. <laughs> oh, the day of the week isn't set. You mustn't forget that. Well, it is Thursday. I'll, I'll give her that. <laughs> Uh, no, it is not. Yes, yes, in daylight saving time. I hate that. Get rid of that thing. By the way, do you know how to use a phone? Mm, I'll say no for kicks. Oh, the instructions. Turn the pokey ear on and select the phone icon. Phone number is stored in memory. Just choose the name you want to call. Gee, isn't that convenient? Yes, it is. Modern cell phones. <laughs> He's waiting for me, alright, but what's on TV? <laughs> Stars dot the sky as two boys ride on a train. I 
I better get rolling too. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of a little bit of a reference to the way that the TV program of the first game. Ooh, I better take some of that. I, oh, it's not letting me. What a tragedy. What a tragedy. Yes, I too like a clean sink. You could eat right off it. Ooh, ooh spicy burger. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's get moving outside here. There's only a couple of buildings in this town. Yo, Gold! I hear Professor Elm discovered a new, some new Pokemon. Ooh, new Pokemon. Let's go in this house. This is Professor Elm's house. Hi, Gold. My husband, Holly's so busy. I hope he's okay. But he's caught up in his Pokemon research. He even forgets to eat. Maybe we should go get him that lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> when I grow up, I'm going to help my dad. I'm going to be a great Pokemon professor. Have fun with that. I'm going to be a trainer. <laughs> it's full of difficult po So difficult you can't even read them. Oh, so, oh geez. So many difficult books. TV. Yes. Definitely a TV. <laughs> Pokemon. Let's, let's invade their privacy on the PC. Pokemon. Where do they come from? Where are they going? Why has no one ever witnessed a Pokemon's birth? Does a Pokemon cross the road to get to the other side? I want to know! I will dedicate my life to the study of Pokemon. Da -da -da <laughs> it's a part of Professor L's research papers. Got it? Good. Maybe I should be checking these signs before I go... Yeah, before I go into buildings, but there's only a couple of marked buildings here. Choose an evolved Pokemon. What? What is this craziness? I was amazed by Professor Elm's findings. He's so famous for his research on Pokemon evolution. <sighs> I wish I could be a researcher like him. Hey, you could. Why not? The difficult Pokemon books. Pokemon may not. <laughs> Magazine Pokemon Pal. Pokemon Handbook. Pokemon Graph. Uh, oh, same stuff. Man, she's got a lot of copies of those. Maybe she's a distributor of them or something. <laughs> Uh, oh, 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 man, no radio programs for us right now. Man, man. Even in our Poke Gear, no radios to be found. Just, just stuff to. Well, I guess I could call Mom, because why not? Hello? Oh, hi, Gold. Was it Professor Elm? What did you feel? Yes, yes, man. Everyone's pushing me towards Professor Elm, aren't they? That's why I'm not going there right away. I've still got other stuff to do. <laughs> New Park Town, the town where the winds of a new beginning blow. Oh, your Poke Gear is impressive. Did your mom get a few? Uh, mm, I don't know. <laughs> Gold's house, yep, my house. Even though it's, it's probably technically hers, but now I'd like to. Oops. Oh yeah, I, I, I I'm kind of used to hitting this select button <laughs> because of a certain other game. But now, if you want to call your mom, say when you're right next to her, this is kind of funny. Or any other character, for that matter. Just go talk to that person! <laughs> Love that little detail. Thought it would show that before I get moving here. Huh? Who is that? Well, I know this is Elm's Pokemon Lab, so that's where I'm going to. Hmm? So this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? You stinker. <laughs> and we're in! <laughs> Gold, there you are. I needed to ask you a favor. I have an acquaintance called Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. It's, it's, it's intriguing, but we're busy with our Pokemon research. Could you look into it for us? I'll give you a Pokemon for a partner! All a bribe! <laughs> They're all rare Pokemon that we just found. Go on, pick one! For someone, check this! I wonder what this does. Hmm. 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 Well, let's leave. Oh, we can't. Wait, where are you going? I don't take bribes, dang it. Oh, fine, I'll take the bribe. <laughs> so we got a choice of Cyndaquil. Uh. No, I want to I wanna, I wanna show show the other one. See if you don't mind. We also got Toto Dial. It's a water type. Uh, no, and we've also got Chikorita, the grass type. No, <laughs> I'm actually gonna choose Cyndaquil. So now that you've seen them all, yes, yes. 
I most certainly will. I think that's a great Pokemon too. Woo! All right. Uh, nah. <laughs> Mr. Pokemon lives near Cherry Grove, the next city. It's almost a direct route to there. It's very direct, actually. If your Pokemon is hurt, you should heal it with this machine. It's like a Pokemon Center machine, basically. Oh, here's my phone number. Call me if something comes up. Woo! You can save up to ten phone numbers in your phone, by the way, which is not enough for all the characters that you can meet in this game and register phone numbers for. Because the Pokemon goes everywhere and finds rarity. It's too bad they're just rare and not very useful. Gold, I'm counting on you! Yeah, one more guy here. Gold, I want you to have this for your errand. I got a potion in case my Pokemon get hurt. It recovers 20 HP. There are only two of us, so we're always busy. Uh, I guess you probably need more staff then. Uh, probably a lot more difficult books, just like at his house. Yeah, let's just let's call it a day with the books. <laughs> and we're off. The first route. <laughs> Route 29, Jerry Go City to New Bark Town. The route numbers are kind of like sequels to the original route numbers in the first game. Hey, how's it going? Pokemon hide in the grass. Who knows when they'll pop out? Oh, jeez, just change the night time. <laughs> That's why I wanted to set the clock to 5:50 because, oops, I did the select button again, dang it. Because when it changes to 6 p.m., it turns into nighttime. Now we can see Pokemon that only appear at night and lose access to Pokemon that only appear in the day or the morning. <laughs> but yeah, it's a, it's a pretty sudden change. You can't really miss it. If they're weak and not ready for battle, keep out of the grass. That's impossible. It, it, this particular route, I, I've got to tell you. I mean, when you get something that can maybe chop down these scrawny little trees, uh, you could skip the grass, but now, no, 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 no skipping for you. But what you can do is take a look-see around the route and, uh, you know, kind of battle stuff to get your Cyndaquil up to speed. Rattata is up and up, oh, it's time for the first battle! Oh my god, I'm so excited, I'm gonna tackle it! Doesn't do that much damage, it's a basic early game move, but I guess that's decent for an early game <laughs> move. And Leer here, if you would use it, it will drop their defenses, which makes tackles a little bit better. <laughs> so yeah, let's just keep on tackling. Watch it do more damage! Yeah! But it still took me three hits, and, these, and I got a critical hit there, which is approximately two times the amount of power anyway, so... I, I can't really tell how much extra damage I got out of that tackle. Because <laughs> it would have overlapped with the end bar anyway, so... It's kind of, kind of a... kind of a difficult thing to show in such a case, but RNG... Sometimes flows that way. Hoot Hoot appears only at night! Yes, because, you know, it's an owl. Owls pop out at night and... Yes. <laughs> so you would see no Hoot Hoot at this point if you started the game earlier in the day, or you s set the clock at a different time. <laughs> and so I'd like to... Whoa, yeah, we're almost at level 6. See that little bar fill up there? Yeah, that's a little experience point meter thing introduced in this game. It's a little quick way for people to check that out. I wanted to take a break, so I saved to record my progress. I'm not doing that because it's not going to save anyway. <laughs> this is not the correct route, by the way. Different kinds of Pokemon appear past here. If you want to catch them all, you have to look everywhere. And you. You can't climb ledges, but you can jump down from them to take a shortcut. So this route over here... You can't do anything about Route 46, Mountain Road Ahead. You won't be able to actually explore this route until much, much later in the game because of all those ledges there, but this is just like... a preview that there's a lot more game to see, I guess you could say. <laughs> it also has a way to loop the overworld. Uh, there's a berry tree. Oh no, random battle in the grass! Rattata, it's the Rattata Storm of early game. That's mandatory. And there's, there's also Sentret around here as well, but I, I think that's only during the day though, so you might not see any of those little raccoons. <laughs> if 
I recall correctly. That's okay, though. I just wanted to show you that day-night cycle after all. And we're not going to be catching them all in a single random gameplay video anyway. I'm just basically be going to be doing the errand and whatnot and uh, heading back over to Elm. Ooh, smokescreen! Pretty good move. It drops the accuracy of the opponent's Pokémon. And that can make moves miss, if, especially if you stack it up, like, over and over smoke screen. Wait for Pokemon that appear only in the morning. And it's a berry! If you give it to a Pokemon, it'll recover 10 HP after its HP drops below half or so. I keep hitting freaking select button because it's a certain game. <laughs> so I'm gonna give that over to... Oh! Would you look at that? What What is this craziness? It's already holding a berry! Oh no! Oh no! But yeah, that's how you equip a berry or something to a Pokémon. And yes, I already knew it had a berry, I just wanted to show you how that works all at once. <laughs> yeah, see those ledges? It's scary to jump off them! But you can go to New Bark without walking through the grass. Yeah, on the way back, by doing this, but uh, you can't go actually through the ledges, so... <laughs> You are stuck having to walk through some grass. Uh-huh. Alright. We are in Jerry Grove. How's it going? You're a rookie trainer, aren't you? I can tell! That's okay. Everyone is a rookie at some point. If you'd like, I can teach you a few things. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay then, follow me! He is an energetic old guy. <laughs> this is a Pokemon Center! You heal your Pokemon in no time at all. You will rely on them a lot. So you better learn about them. Do, 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 do. This is a Pokemon Mart! They sell balls for catching wild Pokemon and other useful items! I can't buy stuff from the Mart though, really. At the, like, yeah, not right now, like that. Oh, 30 is off this way! Trainers will be battling their prize Pokemon there! I like this little pun. This is the sea! As you can see. <laughs> Some Pokemon are found only in water! And guys, too, at the edge of shorelines. <laughs> and finally... Here... It's my house. Thanks for your company. <laughs> Let me give you a small gift. I got a map car! That's why I wanted to do this with him. Now we have a map to check our map at any time we want to, via our Poke Gear. I wish you luck on your journey! Woo! <laughs> So we go to Poke Gear. remember our map from back at the house, so we can check it any time now. But digitally! <laughs> when you're with Pokemon, going anywhere is fun! Indeed it is! Especially if they walk behind you on the overworld map. Hint, hint, Nintendo, hint, hint. Why do they keep getting rid of that feature anyway? <laughs> what the? Pokemon change? No, that can't be! No, they did No! Impossible! Impo- there must be another distributor. <laughs> uh, it seems like checking this stuff all are gonna yield the same dialogue, so let's just zip on through here. Oh wait, why did I why did I talk to you again? I knew you were there. I know I could talk to you for different dialogue though. Were you? Were you red? No, this only takes place a couple years after Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. Oh yeah, I most certainly will. And Guy Gent's house. <laughs> now that makes a lot more sense who he is. This Pokemon's house is still further up ahead, which will be pretty easy to find. How's it going? You're trying to see how good you are as a Pokemon trainer? I just started, I'm not sure. <laughs> you better finish the Pokemon gyms all over Johto and collect badges. When I get older, I'm going to be a gym leader. I make my Pokemon battle with my friends and make them tougher. Yeah! Like leveling up. So remember I said that experience point meter, which reminds me, you can also check that, uh, like you see, check the stats, experience points, level up 45 to level 7, see that down there, yeah, so 45 experience points through battles, you'd also see the moves and stuff like that, and stats and whatnot, but that's, that's super depth filled, which a single video would not be able to cover very sufficiently. The communication center upstairs are just built. But they're still finishing it up. Hmm, it's great. I can store any number of Pokemon and it's all free. Well, actually, there's a limit to your box amounts, but the details that PC is free for any trainer to use. So you can use this to store 
Uh, <laughs> although I'm thinking of another Pokemon game where they move it there. <laughs> I'm used to the newer generations. So this is Bill's PC. Pokemon Storage Center, uh, we can't really deposit our, our only Pokemon, so I can't really even show you how this works. <laughs> alas, alas, but we can actually go- Why did I talk to you again? I, I'm just talking to everyone repeatedly. So this is- remember that healing machine over at Elm's Place? So this is the, the sort of machine they have at Pokemon Centers, and that traditional sound that you hear there throughout all the games? Will heal your Pokémon within seconds? Indeed! Oh, and I, I guess I could show the communication features, but they're all just gonna sort of have the same dialogue. This PC here is the same as the one downstairs, so I don't have to check that. I'm sorry, the trade machine is being adjusted. Statistics, by the way, for your uh, battles with other ones through Link. I'm sorry, the battle machine is being adjusted. <laughs> Finally! I'm sorry! <laughs> Yeah, it's just a copy pasta, the same dialogue, except with the alternate dialogue for said machines or places that they're at. And this is where you can buy stuff, the marts, of course. When I was walking in the grass, the Pokemon poisoned my Pokemon. I just kept going, but then my Pokemon fainted. Oh no, I just gave an antidote with you. Well, let's see what you got here. Let's buy some stuff. Yeah, see, no Pokeballs available right now. Alas, alas, but you might want to grab... A couple of potions for the early game, it's, it's, it's kind of smart, and there are stuff that will poison you uh, early game as well, so you might want to pick that up as well. I don't know about... Well, maybe, maybe grab a few Awakenings just in case. Paralyzing is not too bad early game, but it's, it's, it's more effective in, uh, <laughs> I guess you could say competitive battling, but let, let's, just, let's just get a little bit of everything, basically. You can also sell your items here. Uh, for the moolahs if you don't need them. Fresh out of Pokeballs! When will they get more of them? Oh man! Oh man! Lots of Pokemon merchandise! Lots of Pokemon merchandise! I guess all this is gonna have the same dialogue. Oh man! Oh man! Let's move on. <laughs> so we're done exploring this town, I guess. And we're gonna head on over to Mr. Pokemon's place. There's a little blockade going on on the left side of Route 30. This is kind of funny. Uh, well, it's, it's a little bit further up ahead, but I'm first gonna <laughs> clear out this stuff here. Because why not? Just grab a berry whenever you see a berry tree. You know, Pokemon eat berries. Well, my Pokemon got healthier by eating a berry. Yeah, I'll share one with you. And I got another berry! I got four berries so far! Check the trees for berries. They just drop right off. I most certainly will, and they grow back every day too, hence the whole time system of the game. Anyway, how's it going, guy? Mr. Pokemon's house? It's a bit farther ahead. But not this way. Oh no, we're gonna be blocked here. Oh jeez! Epic battle going on! Go, Rotata! Tango! <laughs> what? This is a big battle! Let me alone! Okay, fine, fine, let's leave him alone, I'll just move up the way. <laughs> That's the place to go to the next city, by the way. So it's basically a way to kind of channel you over to Mr. Pokemon's house, whether you like it or not. <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> Mr. Pokemon's house. Voila. Woo! Hello, hello! You must be gold. Professor Elm said that you would visit. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. Gold received a mystery egg. Woo! Heck yeah! Well, I should say I received the mystery egg! You know, a couple who run a Pokemon daycare service. They gave me that egg. I was intrigued, so I sent mail to Professor Elm. For Pokemon Evolution, Professor Elm is the authority. Even Professor Oak here recognizes that. If my assumption is correct, Professor Elm will know it. And here comes Oak! Aha! So you're gold. I'm Oak, a Pokemon researcher! Didn't we kind of meet on the intro screen, but the uh, details? <laughs> I was just visiting my old friend, Mr. Pokemon! I heard you were running an errand for Professor L, so I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon? Let's see... Hmm, I see... I understand why Professor L gave you a Pokemon for this errand. To researchers like Professor Elm and I, Pokemon are friends. 
He saw that you would treat your Pokémon with love and care. Ah! You seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of Pokédex. It should be the Pokédex, I would I would think grammatically, but details. <laughs> it automatically records data on Pokémon you've seen or caught. It is a high-tech encyclopedia! Woo! Go meet many kinds of Pokémon and complete that Pokédex! But I've stayed too long. I have to get the golden rod for my usual radio show. Gold, I'm counting on you. You are returning to Professor Elm? Here, your Pokémon should have some rest. There's a signature healing sound! <laughs> I'm depending on you. Alright, let's check their privacy. Ah, no privacy invasion there. And these cables! Man, there's a lot of cables here. And they're thick! <laughs> if you think about it. It's packed with foreign magazines. Can't even read their titles. Man. Man. Dang language barriers sometimes. Need to get Bing Translator. Uh oh! Professor Elm is calling me? <laughs> Hello, Gold! It's a disaster! Uh, um, it, it, it's, it's terrible! What should I do? It, it, oh, oh, oh no! Please get back here now! I'm throwing up all over the place from stress! And then, and then he hangs up the phone. <laughs> so, yeah. And there's another berry tree here. This has got a different variety of berry. It's a poison cure berry. Heck yeah, these are called Pekka Berries in later versions of Pokemon. Oh yeah, but you know, it's it's not quite as descriptive with Pekka as it is just saying PSN. <laughs> so it's, it takes a lot more memorization with the berries in later games, I guess you could say. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and tackle this Hootoot until it submits. It's kind of a a decently high-level hoot hoot for this early in the game. And I can't even capture this sucker because I haven't been given any Pokeballs or anything like that. Eh, it's just gonna keep dropping my attack power, isn't it? That's gonna prolong this battle like no one has ever seen before. <laughs> oh, critical hit, thank you. Okay, <laughs> so I'll, that'll help a little bit there for speeding things along. Not that they're particularly powerful, even at this particular level that, that it's at, but... It's just a thing of that, it would have been pretty long-lasting if not for that critical hit, let's just put it that way. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's now go and, uh, oops, not that, here we go, we can avoid that grass, just like it was stated, baby. <laughs> just to speed things along, and before you move on, let's just say that there's a little, little special thing coming up here. You might actually even want to level up your Cyndaquil or whatever starter you chose even a little bit higher, but I think I'll be okay, especially since I bought a bunch of potions and stuff like that, so yeah, just make sure you're all healed up for what's to come here, because you passed you on this little alleyway between the trees. It's the guy. You got a Pokemon at the lab. What a waste. A wimp like you. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokémon. I'll show you what I mean, and we get into an epic battle. And his name is... Oh. We don't know his name, but I know a lot of people put question marks for that guy's name just because he said his name was question marks there and somewhere else. So yeah, he's... Toto Dial. Wait, where have we seen that Pokemon before? Huh. Huh. Oh, jeez. That is not good. That is not good at all. We are not going to have a, a very quick battle. We're only going to be doing that much damage. That's why I said maybe you should level up your Syndicate a little bit there. But, you know, if we do a couple of Leers here, we can kind of knock down its defenses a bit and maybe perhaps speed that up a tad. Maybe, maybe, mm, can we? Now you're seeing the difference. <laughs> so yeah, that's the idea of... Oh, and it'll drop below half, so it's automatically gonna use a berry. That's the held item thing. Uh, but yeah, it's a little bit out of balance, though, because I'm able to level up my Pokémon while he's always gonna be at level 5. 
So it's a, it's a pretty easy first main big battle, I guess you could say, of the game. <laughs> and especially since you can even buy a bunch of potions at the shop and stuff like that, like I showed you. Uh, if you want to use a potion, go to the items, select potion, use it on the Pokémon. Yup, yup, yup. Pretty intuitive stuff. Woo! <laughs> question mark, question mark, question mark, what's defeated? Huh. Are you happy, you won? And I even got his money. <laughs> My name's... question mark, question mark, question mark. And that's why people put his name as that. If, even though it's even implying that you're supposed to input your input your own name into that. I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Ow! My face! Ow! Ow! Please heal me, Nurse Joy! I got punched in the face! Please, not- you, you only heal Pokemon, not humans? What do people do? What do people do? Okay, fine. <laughs> Let's move on then, I suppose. <sighs> so about that day-night cycle thing again, as long as I'm doing a little walk back here, is that at certain points in the game, because you only have- oh, thanks for blocking my way- <laughs> you only have access to certain Pokémon at certain times of the day, so either you would have to wait until a different point in the day to actually be able to catch more Pokémon to bolster out your team, or, well, that's pretty much all you could do at that time, because no one knew about the clock change feature at that time. So, yeah definitely actually set you on the time mechanic because you couldn't change like your system clock or something like that such as on the Nintendo DS and above and whatnot which is how the the time system was used because it's all internal based on the battery but that battery is also a two-edged sword because of that uh, it also drains the battery of the game cartridge which is why you get that whole new game thing like you've seen at the early portion of the uh, the video here, so if you want to maintain that, you gotta learn how to change the battery out, uh, as well as back up your save files with like a me mega memory card or something like that. Anyway, I heard a Pokemon was stolen here. I was just getting some information from Professor Elm. Apparently, it was a young man with, I mean, like young male with young red hair. What? You battle a trainer like that? Did you happen to get his name? Why, his name was question mark, question mark, question mark, of course. <laughs> but he's your rival, so the idea is that you're supposed to name him whoever, I guess you could say, is your real-life rival. But his actual in-game name, I should say the officially named that was given to him is Silver. You know, your name is Gold, his name is Silver, after the actual names of the games. <laughs> and also, Crystal. Uh, you know, the third game in the series, the upgraded one, is, uh, her name, you know, the, the female character, is named Crystal. <laughs> it's the first game series when you could actually choose between a male and a female character. So, your main character's name, by default, would be Gold, hers would be Crystal. Okay, so Silver was his name. Thanks for helping my investigation. Or you, but you can, you know, you can name your characters anything that you want. Gold, this is terrible. Oh, yes, what was I doing? I mean, what, what, what was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? I gave him the mystery egg! Ah, this! But, is it a Pokemon egg? If it is, it's a great discovery. What? Uh, Professor Oak gave you a Pokedex! Oh, is that just, it's just you? The, the, that's incredible! He's superb at seeing the potential of all you people at, as trainers. Wow, Gold, you must have what it takes to become the champion! You seem to be getting up uh, and great with Pokemon too, And he is just really frazzled. You should take the Pokemon Gym Challenge. The closest gym would be the one in Violet City. Around the road to Violet City! It, it doesn't flop off the tongue quite as well as Viridian City! But it works, it works. The road to the championship will be a long one. Before you leave, make sure that you talk to your mom. Alrighty. But actually, I think I'm going to end off the random gameplay here, because I think I showed enough of the game's formula, mechanics, story, stuff like that. So, with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next random gameplay DDR video walkthrough part. Who knows? <laughs> 
but I do hope you enjoyed. Toodaloo!